Hello everyone, this is Sean and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. So as I said I was trying to try and do, I went back uh, and went through all of that stuff again for this case just so that I could make sure to get a complete character portrait of this actor over here. And I've disabled that bomb three times now because apparently the save point is right before the bomb, which is annoying. I was kind of hoping it would be right after the bomb, but no, it's before it. But anyways, what we got here, in our evidence, we got a man of thin build, around 5 foot 5 inches in height with black hair. He has a hair clip. This is what we found from um, Wilson here. Now let's go read over the complete thing for Orson Wilde, and then we'll go into the next part of that. Orson Wilde, not yet 30 years of age, is a star of American theater who came to London to study the role of Sherlock Holmes. It is probable that he began his study previously. He smokes the same brand of tobacco as Holmes. Orson is narcissistic and follows fashion. He admires his own reflection. The brooch pinned to his breast displays his American pride. So, it was... I, I think I had it half right. I don't think I chose actor's tool for his uh, thing, but he actually does show his American pride with his pen, which is what I figured was the case. So, okay. Let's see here. Who tried to kill me, Mr. Holmes? Really? There's two people that in this house, and you honestly think it was that? Good job, Toby. Okay. Hey, I didn't remember the, guy, the kid leaving. Oh, well. Let's take a look at this here. Okay, there's a pocket knife. Or comb. Don't want it. Uh, it's probably a knife. Okay. How do I? Oh, hello. J T for the owner's initials. Okay. Let's see what's inside. <coughs> there could be a hidden message that's been written with some lemon juice. Oh, come on, kid. No, don't touch anything else. This guy is going to be a problem. On this piece of paper. I could read the text with the help of my analysis table. Wild hadn't already destroyed it. So not only has he destroyed our evidence, our analysis table, which means we can't do that. He just destroyed that piece of paper. Uh, yeah. Well, great. Rally Mohawks, bring out your axes, and tell King George we'll pay no taxes uh, on his foreign tea. His threats are vain and vain to think to force our girls to and wives to drink his vile boia. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Uh, then rally and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. Okay. A poem. But what does it mean? This isn't a poem. It's a song called Rally Mohawks. That great moment when America rebelled against England's dominance. Then rally, boys, and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. And I bet they hoisted a tankard of ale and invented a new nation. Along with deciding if this was the week they got to dump some tea into Yon Harbor. <laughs> Why ever did he keep such a song in his pocket? Good question. Now, if only we didn't have a... Oh, what? Did he manage to put... Okay. So, can I do... I could read the text. Okay, so I can't really do anything else with this, but it looks like it. But we have some evidence, so let's see if any of this connects. Analysis the table destroyed evidence. Look at that. Okay. Orson deliberately destroyed the analysis table and the attack as evidence. Well, right now it looks okay, and there's a homemade bomb. So I'm not going to just blame Orson. He might just be an idiot right now. Who tried to kill? Good job. Okay. Thanks to Wild, my analysis table has been completely destroyed. And so you're gonna have to buy new stuff. Okay, so what are we going to do then? 
Okay. A map of London and its surroundings. Oh, hello. Yes, that's right. Aha! Song. How about their archives? Uh. Okay. Let's see. We have encyclopedias, art, and architecture. Maybe. Oh wait. No. Let's go to history. The Green Dragon Tavern. Perfect. The Green Dragon Tavern was a public house used as both a tavern and a meeting place and was located on the Union Street in Boston's North End. Uh, in, er uh, in the early 19th century, a number of replicas of the Green Dragon were opened across Europe. Uh, one of these is now located in London near the harbor in the district of Whitechapel. I... Uh, don't, I don't have a boring, uh, let's see here, there's a historical song, and yeah, it's a, it's a pocket knife. Now for the initials, JT was found in the attacker's pocket. Historical song capturing the moment when the Americans rebelled against the England's dominion. A secret location, the Green Dragon is mentioned in the song. That's all I can do for now, is try and get a few hours of sleep. How can you sleep when there is someone trying to kill me? How selfish. Again, we don't think you were the target. I really don't. Though, I don't know if I'd stop you right now. Not really. Yeah, not that much of a jerk, people. With that being said, let the guy do work. You're just here for research. You're not supposed to be taking over this whole thing. I'm still in the row. I'm not doing my stuff in this. Sorry. Okay, there's the morning gown. Best of attire, which is what he started off with doctor's outfits. Banded outfits. Faster. Just go to the overcoat like I always wear. Just because I like the style. Okay. Well, what craziness is going to happen when I walk in here? <laughs> He's so funny. Oh my god. Toby's got a little party hat. Okay, what? Did you sleep well, Kate? Very well, thank you, Father. Is that wild? Whatever is he doing now? He's transforming you into a legend. Oh, silly man. Kate, what's the matter? Well, I just came by to tell you that I'm going to the zoo with Alice. We'll be having lunch in town. Uh. The zoo. What on earth for? Perhaps because it is my birthday today? I'm so sorry, Kate. With Wilde's visit, I... Look, here's some spending money. Go and treat yourself to a... a thing. All right. I'll go then. Kate. You never do anything right! All right, all right. Come here. I've had enough of you not caring about me! I do care. I've just had a, a difficult night. Yes, Alice told me about the bomb, but you wouldn't. Kate, I... I only want to protect you. You don't understand anything. I wish Alice would adopt me. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know why my parents entrusted me to you. Did they really know you? Kate, come back. Have I been choosing the wrong ones for Kate? Have I been choosing everything don't wrong for Kate? This would be a good opportunity to investigate Alice's flat while they're absent. And anyway, it'd be better to visit the Green Dragon Tavern during the evening. That is true, but now we're gonna break and enter for that. Thanks to Wild. Okay. I have a feeling the whole Kate thing is probably the whole thing. Okay. I don't, now, when I restarted this, I restarted in here, and I don't seem to be able to look at these letters now. Or maybe they saved the fact that I looked at the letters before or something. I don't know. Either way, I can't seem to do it. Which one was Alice's flat? She was right next door, right? Uh, there is nothing next door. Nothing. 
Plus, of course, I can do. Let's not go outside. The journalist would notice me. Okay, I thought she was upstairs, though. Force is not an option. I should have an A back room. Okay. A back room. That's it. Good to know. Mrs. Hudson is not at home. Okay, I guess the. Could you just? I know you're inside, but can you please run? I guess what I'm doing is... Uh, I'm... See, this is why I thought... Yeah, I figured. Don't you dare make me do a quick time thing. Oh my god, look, I know how to do this. Okay. Oh, it does not have my stuff saved. Okay. Okay, so we're, this is the front we want. That's not big enough. I need the three for the back. And for the... F oh, crap. Okay, and then for the front, I just need a one. I need... Four for the back. Okay, I need the four for the back. Okay. And a three for the front here. There we go. Okay. Oh, well. It appears that Alice sleeps in this armchair as uncomfortable as that must be. I don't know about that. What's with that music? Um A soothing drug to aid sleep. I can't look. Examine smell. It has no smell. Uh, should I really examine taste of this random thing? Uh, it has a bitter taste. No smell, it tastes. It's a tincture of barbiturate. Okay. Hello. Alice prepared a gift for Kate. She remembered her birthday. Doing good at that sort of thing. Yeah, I figured that you're probably not the best at that kind of thing, but still, let's do this. Recently used this. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like it's done yet. Okay, I guess we're going to this then immediately. Dear Miss, thank you for your most recent delivery of shirts to my uh, for my cousin. They are marvelous. As I told you, this Saturday I shall be attending the wedding breakfast of my dear friend, so I'll need to look stunning. Please be sure to finish my dress by Friday at the latest. I will send for it in the morning. Okay. Whoa, hello. She's got a puzzle box here. Okay. So, what's the point of this? Okay, I don't know the point of that yet. Let's, let's come back to that. Let's see if there's anything else to look at first. Looks as though Alice has not slept here for a long time. Yeah, it looks like she sleeps in the armchair, remember? Okay, is that literally it? Just this and this puzzle box thing? Okay. 
Well, I took the photographs. Can I look at the photograph? Uh, eight to one. Let's see here. Okay. That didn't actually help me any. Unless it counted my stuff from the beginning. Okay, well, I don't want the dead end. Clearly, it looks like I want to make sure that there's a clear path to this lane and this lane. Let's see here. Okay, so that one has a dead end there. Let's see here. Go here. We can go into there, but. Or maybe we've just been the straight away. Maybe we just need one or the other. Let's see here. Okay. Well, we can go up that one. Can't go over to this one, but we can go up this one. So if we come up here, we need to be able to go either here or here. Okay. So then this right here needs to be able to get to the other side. There we go. My dear little Alice, if you read this letter, then it means that I am no no longer in this world, and that my illness has defeated me. Please try not to be sad, dear, for I have lived a good life. My only regret is that you are now alone, and you will be sent to live with who knows who, an unknown family. I do not trust the uh, institutions who behave so cruelly towards your father. But please take courage, my dear angel. Though you know the secrets which allow you to speak with the souls of the dead, we uh, so we may talk soon. Your aunt. Alice's childhood was spent with her aunt until the aunt's death. Dear Alice, thinking of you now has made me remember the past, and you, uh, and as you well know, I was always a warrior. Every time you, that you were sent to live well, with yet another family, I hoped you would be happy. But people are cruel, aren't they? It angers me to think of you so miserable in, uh, in every home, so uh, to be considered more of a, a servant rather than a family member of the family. You suffered so much, but I, uh, but I am happy now to congratulate you who, on your 21st birthday. Now all of your horrors are behind you. You are grown and independent and a beautiful woman. I wish you the life you, that you deserve with all, all of the happiness that's possible. Your friend, Anna. I just gave Anna one of the most masculine ones I can give, which... Alice was unhappy with all of her adopted parents. Uh, that's not too uncommon. He wakes early despite the fact that the lamp in his room closed into small hours. He provides a street urchin with work. I believe the boy's name is Wiggins. Wiggins, not Wilson. Why did I say Wilson earlier? His friend, Dr. Watson, is always nearby. They seem very close. He is respected by Inspector Lestrade, although he never works with the police. Kate is so sweet and honest and naive, but Mr. Holmes doesn't spend much time with her. She's spying. Yeah. But then again, we're going through her house. Do you really think it's fair for you to just say that she's spying on you at this point? Oh, okay, so there's more to this room. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. I'm gonna start with this picture. Okay. Let's just take more of her things. Okay, so this is actually certificate, uh, certified copy of an entry of births. 1867, Alice, uh, something Hamilton, uh, September 2, 1867, September 10, 1867, 3.05 p.m. Port of Spain? Is that what that says? Trinidad. Her full name is Alice Floella Hamilton. Floella, thank you. Dear Mrs. De, De Bovier, uh, I wanted to inform you that your rental contract has been prepared. You can come to collect it whenever you whenever convenient, any evening of this week, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Hudson, landlady. Alice used her mother's name to lease the flat. Okay, so there's something. Strange taste in literature. Spiritualism and psychic research. To be fair, you now know the secrets of talking with the dead. We just read that a little bit. She'll go, Harold Sherlock. And we already knew that she had some kind of cultism Kate probably sleeps here. thing. Piano. Mm -hmm. and I feel like it's a bad idea to play the piano when you're sneaking in somebody's house. The clock. It's a nice clock. Um... Got a key. There's got to be something this key is for, right? I highly doubt we want to just. Oh, okay. It's probably for that room right there. With the padlock. We're not going to talk about why that there's just this candlestick that's dumped over, or this thing, or these pa papers. I want to read everything. Okay. A fancy lock. Well, this ain't creepy at all. Uh, well, we did know she had some spiritual thing. The wheelchair is the same as the one in the photograph above. Yes, it is. Didn't even see the photograph above. The music gets is getting more is getting a little more intense as I get closer and closer to this area. Okay. I know him. He was a bandit who I arrested 20 years ago. Okay. The victim from the bowling party. I sold that crime. A distant ancestor, Horace Vernon. Talking with her father, William Hamilton. <coughs> oh, well, okay then. The, t uh, the Times. Mass suicide leaves 27 dead at uh, some place in Spain. 
The bodies of 27 people, including four children, have been discovered in Sutra. I'm going to call it Sutra. Sutra and hope that I pronounced it right. Uh, the deceased, who were members of the Veneration of the Dead, had consumed a small. A soft drink laced with deadly cyanide and sedatives. Police were only able to save one. A young woman. Alice Flola, uh, Floella, uh, Floella Hamilton. The lady, who was unharmed yet in deep shock, remains unable to shed any light on the sad case. Okay. I'm going to avoid that spot right now. Let's not look at the summoning circle yet. Charles Darwin, English naturalist and geologist. Oh, neat. Uh, that's... It says it's complete. I'm not done yet. Are you kidding me? Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Oops. Bunch of random famous people here. Look at this setup. Alice practices spiritualism. I finished here. Time to go. There we go. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, is she in? Th if I open this door, is she just gonna be there? Nope. Okay. All right, we're just gonna leave it open. Just gonna leave it open, Sherlock. We're just gonna leave everything showing that someone has definitely been in here. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna use the front door. I feel like that's a dumb idea. There. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it off. Our neighbor is, um, fun. We need to get this window or fixed, or at least boarded up. Okay, so, we're going to go ahead and leave it there. I don't know if, oh, crap. I, I, no, I'm not doing this yet. I will look at the stuff about that, which will be case files probably in there. Later, but for now... Yes. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.